Hi everybody, hope you're well. Uh, today I will read from the issue of Oase devoted to book reviews. Christoph van Herve and Hans Tears wrote, At the end of the last century, plans were made in California for a magazine filled with criticism of architecture books. Architectural Book Review They led, in the winter of 1983, to the publication of the first issue of Design Book Review. The title change is explained in the editorial. The books reviewed are of wider interest than to architects alone, and design is an activity that transcends architecture. Design Book Review was founded in the 1980s, in a period in which the book industry was flourishing and in which publishing houses were emerging that concentrated on architecture, such as the Edition de la Villette in Paris, Princeton Architectural Press in New York, or 010 Publishers in Rotterdam, founded in 1980, 1981 and 1983 respectively. In a conversation in Design Book Review in 1986, Richard Ingersoll analyzes this boom together with Kenneth Frampton, at the time a consultant for the Rizzoli Publishing House in New York. The last 10 years, says Ingersoll, have seen a glut in architectural publishing one of a megaton proportions compared to earlier periods. What does this spree of publishing mean? Is there really a market for all of this? Frampton is critical, as usual. How can one not sometimes see this profuse publication as some kind of consensus compensation for the increasing brutalization of the actual physical environment? the revenge and triumph of the processal media, so to speak, over the stoic and static mistress art. Yet, he sees a task for the magazines, which must determine a position regarding the repetitious and unsubstantial quality of much that is produced. He also has advice for design book review. I suppose this would mean that the reviews would become longer and fewer in number, and with this, the house line would grow necessarily more tendentious. The last issue of Design Book Review was published in 2001, at the beginning of a century in which another medium became dominant, the Internet, the only hybrid of text, sound and image that reflects the real world and that therefore also reproduces, comments and influences architecture. Nevertheless, architecture books continue to be published today, they continue to be the subject of criticism and discussion, while the relationship with both the practice of architecture and the spatial environment remains undeniable. The subject of this issue of Oase is the review of the architecture book, the usually short text in magazines or newspapers, in which someone responds to a longer text, recently published in book form. The history of the architecture book review is outlined in 25 case studies. Several authors analyze how one reviewer over the past three centuries has read and reviewed one book. Each time, as an illustration, an architectural design or a spatial phenomenon is also selected to indicate how reviews build bridges between words and buildings and between theory and practice. The first review from the chronological list dates from 1755 and appeared in the magazine Mercure de France. The most recent piece was published online in 2021 in the Avery Review. Ask for Oasis at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.